Hi, this is Grandpa from Grammy Grandpa Reads, and today's book is The Great Paint Problem. It's a jumpstart book. It's by Kimberly Weinberger and illustrated by Duende Stelsur. He's the one that does all the um, Scooby-Doo illustrations. Chapter 1, The Contest. Keisha's paints are gone, cried Casey the cat. All of her colors are gone. Gone, you say, asked CJ the frog. Sounds like a mystery, Edison. Where's my notebook? I must get a, begin a search. CJ's best friend, Edison the firefly, rolled his eyes. Speaking of mysteries, he groaned. Casey, how did you find our secret clubhouse? Oh, everyone knows where it is, said Casey. And as for missing paints, there is no mystery. Keisha, let me know, let me borrow them. Then Casey lowered his head. I want, I wanted to paint my tail, he said, but I forgot to bring the paints inside when I was finished. When it rained, all of Keisha's colors were washed away and I'm supposed to bring them back tomorrow afternoon. Oh boy, said Edison, you're in trouble now. That's not even the worst part of it, said Casey sadly. There's an art contest at school in two days. Keisha was planning to paint a picture tomorrow and enter it in the contest, but how can she, can she without any paint? CJ's eyes began to shine. This sounds like a problem, he cried. This could be even better than a mystery. Edison frowned. There is no problem, said Edison. Why not just tell Keisha what really happened? But Casey and CJ didn't seem to hear him. CJ, said Casey. Can you help me buy new paints for Keisha before Keisha finds out they're missing? They cost 50 cents each. Just leave it to us, CJ said with a smile. CJ the frog is on the job. Chapter two, the secret ingredients. ingredient. Casey ran home to see how much money he had. After he had gone, Edison folded his arms just and just looked at CJ. And just how do you plan to help buy, the, the, buy those paints, asked Edison. We'll never be able to pay for them. Never say never, Edison, said CJ. He searched on the high shelf for the secret clubhouse money box. He carried it to the table. Casey said, each of Keisha's paints costs 50 cents, said CJ slowly. And she had five colors, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. 50 cents times five colors makes $2.50, said Edison. That's a lot of money. Let's see how much we have, CJ said. He turned in the, mo the money jar upside down. Clink, clink, clink. Three coins fell out. Hmm, said CJ. Two dimes, 10 cents a piece, plus one nickel, or five cents equals 25 cents in all. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, said Edison, 25 cents is not enough. We still need $2.25 more. You're right, said CJ. It's time for action. Edison watched as CJ grabbed a jar. All we need to do is find something to sell, CJ said. And I know just the thing. CJ pulled on his tallest boots. He was ready. I'm off on a top secret mission, the frog whispered. If I'm not back in one hour, send out a search party. Oh, good grief, said Edison. <laughs> By the time CJ returned, Casey had come back to the clubhouse too. I only had 75 cents, Casey said. He showed she, CJ one quarter, four dimes, and two or 10 pennies. Great, said CJ. What's so great about it, Edison asked. With our 25 cents, we only have one dollar in all. We still need $1.50 more. That's where my idea comes in, said CJ. We can use my top secret recipe. CJ showed them a bottle filled with water. Water, said Casey. What's that for? It's the first step toward buying those paints, said CJ. Edison and Casey watched as CJ placed a bowl of lemons on the table. Water and lemons, said Edison. Is that some strange recipe for making paint? <laughs> Not quite, CJ laughed. We, we're going to make lemonade with my family's secret recipe. We'll sell tons of it. What's so special about your recipe, said Casey. 
Well, CJ said slowly, I guess I can tell you, but remember, it's a secret. He pulled Casey and Edison toward him. This ingredient has been guarded by my family for years, CJ whispered. Casey's eyes grew wide. What is it, he asked. CJ smiled. He looked it to his left and then to his right. Finally, he said, it's the juice of one fresh orange. He pulled a large round orange from his pocket. I picked this one from a tree near the pond, he told them. It's perfect. As he began to peel the orange, CJ turned to Casey. Your troubles are over, my friend, he said. With this orange, we can't miss. Chapter 3. At the Playground The three friends set up their lemonade stand near the playground. There's nothing like a ball game to make you thirsty, said CJ. Soon they had their first customer. Lemonade, said Frankie. I love some. CJ poured his friend a cup. That will be 10 cents, please, he said. Edison and Casey watched closely as Frankie drank down the whole cup. Hey, said Frankie, that's great lemonade. What do you use to make it taste so good? I'm afraid I can't tell you that, said CJ proudly. It's top secret information. Frankie asked for another cup and then another after that. Before long, the whole gang had joined them. Each tried to guess the correct ingredient. Eleanor thought it was a pineapple. Pierre was sure it, was a, it must be a banana. When nearly all of the lemonade was sold, the last customer of the day arrived. Oh no, cried, whis whispered Casey. It's Keisha. I'd like one cup, please, Keisha said. Casey quickly poured Keisha's drink, but he would not take the, her dime. It's the last cup anyway, said Casey. Here, take it. Thanks, said Keisha with a smile. Oh, and please don't forget to bring my paints back tomorrow, she added. I need them to paint my picture for the contest. Don't worry, Casey said nervously. I'll bring her some paints to you tomorrow. When she had gone, CJ counted their money. We sold 10 cups of lemonade for 10 cents a piece, said CJ. That makes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 cents. They had made one whole dollar selling lemonade. That means they have $2 altogether, cried CJ. We still need 50 cents more, said Casey, shaking his head. And time is running out. Chapter four, Lost and Found. That night, CJ and Edison and Casey tried to find a solution to their problem. As the sun came up, CJ heard a knock at his door. He opened it and there was Casey jumping up and down. I've got it, shouted Casey, I've got it. Well, keep it to yourself, mumbled a sleepy Edison. Some of us are trying to sleep. But I've got the last 50 cents, Casey said again. How, asked CJ. My tooth fell out last night, Casey said proudly. I found 75 cents under my pillow this morning. Now I can pay you back your 25 cents and still have the last 50 cents we need for the new paints. Then Casey hurried off to buy Keisha a new paint set. He got it to her just in time. The next day, CJ, Edison, and Casey joined all of their friends at the art contest. Keisha won first prize. After winning, she found Casey in the crowd. Casey, she said, I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you for coming to the art contest. Seeing the smile on Keisha's face, Casey felt terrible inside. He knew he had to tell his friend the truth about what had happened. Casey stared at the ground. He told Keisha the whole story. I'm sorry, he said quietly. I thought you'd be angry. Your paints were ruined because of me. I'm sorry too, CJ said. After all, it was my idea to raise money and buy new paints. Ruining the paints was an accident, said Keisha. There was no reason to keep it a secret. It's always better to tell the truth. Not to mention a lot less work, Edison grumbled. Then Keisha smiled. You'll never guess what the prize was for first place, said Keisha. What, asked Casey. A brand new set of paints, <laughs> Keisha said with a grin. I can't wait to get started on my new picture for next week's contest. What are you going to paint? CJ asked. Oh, it's a secret, Keisha answered. But I can tell you it will have lots of colors. <laughs> oh, there's a good moral in that story. You should always uh, tell what has happened if there's been a bad, something bad happened that maybe isn't your fault even. If people understand... Uh, that sometimes accidents do happen or
things that are not in your control um, can happen too that wouldn't be your fault. So if you like this story, smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and watch the playlist for animals.